Today's story is such that I feel you all might have heard, and it's from West Bengal. There is a ghostly platform where a girl runs around in a train, and which is why no train used to stop there after sunset. Even in the railway record, it was declared as a haunted station. This story is a strange one. It's about 109 years old. In 1911, a train was running from Italy. The story is that there was a train company named Zanetti. At that time, the railway coaches, engines, all these things were made. So, Zanetti made a new train and offered it to people for trial and that some passengers should come and board the train and take them to a certain distance and see what kind of train it is. So this company gave an offer and selected 100 such passengers who had to travel for free. They had to eat and drink together and take them to a certain distance and then take them back. So they did a lot of such things in which a 100 passenger list was made. The first trial in a completely new train with a new technology and all these 100 passengers along with six train drivers and others boarded the train. There were three coaches in this whole train and this train had to reach from one place to another. The special thing was that during the journey there was a tunnel near the Lombardi mountain in Italy and in those days this tunnel was very long. It was about half a mile long so this train had to pass through the tunnel. People were very excited. A new train and new technology and all these things raised the excitement quotely. Anyway, 100 passengers, six total train staffs were ready. The distance was just right. The passengers were very happy. They were getting food and everything in the train. However, it was a trial train so they were paying more attention. Meanwhile, many people were present to see this train passing by when the train entered the tunnel near Lombardi mountain, about half a mile and less than a kilometer. This train was long. The train entered, but the train did not leave from the other side. There was some time. People were very surprised. The railway staff at that time knew that the tunnel would come and then it would pass through other platforms and other stations. But this did not happen. The train entered the tunnel, but after that it did not leave the tunnel. It was lost, but we didn't know anything, so we started searching. We asked the people who were at the station from where the train had passed. We also asked the signal man and the spectators. During the inquiry, we found out that the tunnel near Lombardi Mountain. People saw the train going to the tunnel, but no one saw it leaving. So the investigation came to a halt. Then the whole team went there and searched the inside of the tunnel. They searched for other things in the tunnel, like a cave or something else. But a long train, 106 people on board, they didn't find any trace of the train. The whole track was searched. Everything was searched, but no train was found. Time passed slowly. The inquiry commission was established. The investigation was attempted. Now the issue is not a small one. The whole train is missing, so it was not something that would be easily digested. News were published in the media. The search was going on, but there was no benefit. In the meantime, suddenly, some people said that this train has left Italy and reached somewhere else. A guy who later claimed to be Mexican said that he was in the train with 100 passengers and his name was also in the list. And what he said was this, after a few days of this incident, when this train was entering the tunnel, he suddenly heard a loud noise. And after that, he saw black and white smoke. So they got scared and jumped out of the train before entering the tunnel. Their mental condition was not good. The psychiatrist saw them there, but they were saying that they were riding in that train. And even the record mentioned that they were riding in that train. But the thing is that something strange happened before the tunnel. They didn't know anything. And they jumped. They were investigating. But there was no other eyewitness who could tell. So, the statement of these two people didn't help in finding this train. Meanwhile, there was another thing in between. One more claim was being made. And this time it is made by Mexico. There was a doctor from Mexico who said that after some time of this incident, 
104 patients came to his hospital and those 104 patients were mentally ill. They were doing strange things and talking strange things, but they were not able to tell anything about their existence and their reality. But they were 104. This thing slowly reached Italy. When it reached Italy, people got scared because two passengers claimed that they had jumped off the train. Now here it said, there were 104 people, but in train there was 106 people. What was the truth? Later it was found that 104 people were missing. So even that was not connected. Where did these people go? And because the hospital said that mentally ill people are talking, they did not take it very seriously. So they also left. After this, the most dangerous thing about this train was that the same train model of the same Zenity company, the same engine, the same type of model of the three bogies, the same train was seen in Russia, Germany, Romania, and Mexico at different times. So far, everything was fine. This train was run in 1911. But about 71 years before 1911, in 1840, the same train was seen in Mexico. The same engine, same three-cylinder engine, and everything was the same. So the question is that in 1840, the same train was seen in Mexico. In 1911, the Zanetti company made this train for the first time. More than 100 passengers were seated in it. Six crew members, including train guards and drivers. And in 1911, this train disappeared from Italy. So if it disappeared in 1911, then how was that train seen in 1840? And if it was seen in 1840, then why was it not seen from 1840 to 1911? After seeing it in 1911, there were 104 people in a separate hospital. Where did the two runaway people come from? Then how did that train come to Russia? How did the people there see the same train? So what is the mystery of this train? Today, in 2020, it has been 109 years. If we talk about 1911 Italy, all the records of it are in Italy. There is no proof of this. No one has any information about it. One thing is said, and that is when this train entered the tunnel. It may have gone into the time zone or time machine. It reached the world before time or after time. And that's why it's sometimes seen in 1840s, sometimes in Russia, sometimes in Germany. But in total, the last thing that is said about this train is that maybe this time machine is the one who made this train pass and handled it on his own. And that is the reason that no one has ever found such a long and wide train and neither did anyone get any information about it. Now, what is the truth? There are two things here. In 1911, a train entered this tunnel near Lombardi mountain. It was a train of Zanetti company. There were 106 people, all the documents and everything. But where did the train go? Why didn't it go out of the tunnel? It was less than one cam long. This is also true. That train never got found. This is also true. There was no information about the 106, the two that came, apart from the 104. So the question is, what happened to this train? A very long investigation was carried out. Even today, this is a mystery in Italy. And it is said that one of the biggest mysteries of the world is still a mystery, but there was no sign of this train. People say that only the time machine can do this and no one else can. There are many stories about time machines. There are many stories about planes that disappear, but the complete disappearance of a train is a mystery. And even today, no one has any information about it.